don't communicate with peace in a community, it can erode peace, and after that, it can cause many problems. If you communicate positively to a person, that person starts feeling positive, so it communicates more positive attitude to the other people. Because everyone, we all have really great ideas, and if we communicate them peacefully, we can develop our world, our community, into a more peaceful way just by communicating peacefully. Um, a community, the whole point is to work together and to help each other. And if you can't create peace in that community, then the community will start falling apart. And then there is no community. So the whole reason that you communicate in a peaceful way is that so the com community stays a community. Well, if you communicate in ways that create, that create peace in the community, you won't hurt anyone's feelings, you can like resolve any conflicts that you have, and you can make new connections, new friends. You need to have peace in the community because otherwise everyone will have like a negative attitude towards each other and like always fight. Um, is it, Im it is important to communicate to bring peace because if we don't communicate to each other, we won't, nobody will trust each other. Well, the song that Randy and Frida made had created peace because it had a positive message against bullying. There was this girl in our school who had cancer and we all came together as a community to try to find her a match for like a bone marrow transplant. And when they're creating peace is when we help, um, we donate things to Martina. These two people were fighting over an idea. They both wanted their own idea. And then the person came up to them and told them how they could use both, both ideas to make a better idea. Alright, well we had to do a skit for advisory and it was about not bullying and Rafa was getting beat up so Miss Cat came running thinking that it was real but it actually wasn't so that showed that she cared a lot and she never saw us at La Paz but it wasn't real, it was just a skit so that created peace. Uh, it's important to communicate because when you do, for example, the monologo, everyone was very happy when everyone was clapping because everyone was happy for you that you made the monologo and you knew the monologo very and well. And how did that bring you peace? And that bring me peace because like you see that people like are happy that you did that so like they encourage you more and so you continue to do more work and be more proud of your work. that I saw in my community that brought peace is that there's this man called Roro that he's always cleaning tamarindo, but he doesn't clean it because someone's paying him or someone tells him to do it. He just does it because he feels like he wants to do it. He wants his community to feel like happy where they're living and that it's all clean so everyone feels like like proud of where they live. Once I saw on TV, some people that go to the Cubans that and and yeah, Cubans that are in Costa Rica. Uh, and they go and teach them like uh, uh, English, they teach them French and they like go help them with the food and stuff like that and that's a way that they communicate peace to them. An example of peace I've seen that other people have presented is Grace did her monologue and in her monologue she talked about how we need to be grateful about school because we have an amazing opportunity and this created I think a lot of peace in my class because a lot of more people are more grateful about school and it helped me too to think whenever I wanted to complain about school that I should really think about my opportunities and be more peaceful. And sometimes we see that in the community meeting people say like the events that are happening around the world and remind us how lucky and thankful we should be to have an education like this. For example, when I help my other friends, um, like in a Spanish class, when they don't understand Spanish words that Ms. Daniela said, I, I explain them about the project or homework that we have, so that is a way to communicate peace. Uh, laughter is a way of communication, and I like to use laughter to help people feel at peace. So, so we express ourselves in a community that creates peace by talking honestly between each other and saying how we feel. I always have friends when they need support. You stole my sentence. I'm sorry, that's not creating peace. So a way that I brought peace to my community was when in Tamarindo there's a 
park where all the children go and that park is always like dirty and full of trash so the kids don't have that much fun there so once we all the community of Chamarindo gather together and start cleaning the park so then it's all clean and then the children can have more fun and can enjoy their time in the park my friends and I were like arguing about things so we had to resolve like our problems by talking about it and like having an open discussion well, I created peace in a group project when I talked to the members before it began so that we are all calm because we all knew what we were doing. Well, when my, like, someone in my friend or my family is sad or mad, um, I normally give them a hug because it makes me feel like they, it shows that I care of what they're going through and yeah, it gives me. It was when my advisory took charge of the kids' day, so then it brought peace to Miss Amy because she didn't have to worry. It brought peace to the kids because they were able to feel comfortable with us. Um, one time in sixth grade, I wrote a poem uh, against bullying and I shared it in the morning meeting. Um, and that created peace because it showed kids that bullying is bad and that it, it doesn't create peace in a community. And I think that helped all the kids as a school community to be nice to each other. And be peaceful. I once I had a friend who a, a lot of people were teasing her and so I went to a teacher and talked to them about how um, to stop to help stop that and to bring peace to her and more peace around the class and the community of people around her and that brought peace. Uh, I communicated in a way that brought peace because every single year when new people come to our class I like go to them like in the first day and say hi my name is Daniel and, and do you want to be my friend and stuff like that so they, that makes them feel good so because they're not that alone. So I say to I compliment people on their work so they feel happy and they feel more like sure so they can present to other people and it, they feel have happiness so it creates peace. And one thing that I did to communicate to bring peace was I found 1,000 colonies on the floor and I picked it up and I gave it to a teacher instead of keeping it myself. I have eroded peace before, but when I communicate that I'm sorry, I can help bring back the peace that I lost. That, like all together, we can like do like something big to make other people feel happy and like so then they can like inspire themselves to do it as well.